What's going on, Giants fans? This is Carl from NY coming to you guys with another Giants video. I'm sorry that uh, my camera had messed up a couple days ago, so I wasn't able to upload my D-line video uh, as well as others, but I will have those out. I'll have an, uh, one out hopefully tonight, uh, but I got three new, uh, three new things I want to talk about with you guys. Two of them are players, and one of them is about uh, Giants maybe trading. So I'm going to get right to it. I hope you guys like the new intro that I just added. Uh, you'll see something else at the end as well. But uh, the first thing I want to start off with is what Jay Glazer said. He said the three and the four uh, pick in the first round are up for sale right now. Now, what that means is the Giants are hopefully looking to move back and maybe go get that tackle that they've always wanted. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe they like Simmons, but from what I'm reading, it seems like the Giants will be going with tackle at that spot. Now, the options here that I have, which are the two players I'm going to discuss, is Wirfs and Jedrick Willis. Now, if you ask me, I've always been more on the Wirfs side. But after I've really uh, listened to what other critics had to say, watched the tape, everything like that, it seems like the Giants will be going that route with. Now, if you ask me, like I said, worse. But from what reporters are saying, the Giants are really interested in uh, Judge Rick Willis. Uh, but uh, this is one thing I wanted to talk about really quickly about uh, worse. Giants were among the teams in the top 10 that spent significant time with Iowa offensive tackle Trishan Wirfs, getting to know him per Jeremy Fowler from ESPN. Uh, Wirfs could be in play at number four if the Giants trade back. So well, uh, that's a possibility. I've also heard uh, Andrew Thomas is a possibility, but it seems like the Giants will be going that offensive tackle route. Those are the three guys I've seen. The other guy i I think that's flown out of the window now is Makai Becton, just because of the issues that had flown around about him failing a drug test. I just don't see the Giants going that route just because they don't know how he's going to be. Is he going to be able to handle it? We'll have to see. But from what I'm hearing, it seems like it's Jedrick Willis or Tristan Wirfs. Uh, but I'm fine with either one of those picks. A lot of people want to argue, okay, Wirfs is a guard. You can argue that in some sort of way but if you look at the way he's built he's the reason why people consider him a guard is because how he's built so low and then he's built like a tight end slash tackle up top and that i mean there's no issue you could i i would put him at either spot but i feel like right tackle and he's played some left tackle at iowa as well that he could play either spots and i'm fine with that but put him at right tackle and he could be your right tackle for the next 10 to 15 years there's also been uh, a report from Dave Gettleman, or not a report, but what he said in his press conference recently. Dave Gettleman on the offensive line, he said, is it a pressure point to a degree? I'm not going to lie. So the Giants definitely, if you ask me, other people are going to say this as well. The Giants have to find a way to fix that offensive line. It's not looking good so far, uh, especially at the tackle position. The center position, I think they will be able to find a guy in the third or fourth round. To maybe not start, but eventually start on that offensive line. I think the Giants do feel confident in Nick Gates at that position. But we'll have to see how training camp goes to determine what they want to do at that spot. Uh, also from Dun Ryan Dunleavy, this is also some news that came out. Some informed speculation to keep an eye on. If the Giants don't trade out of four, they'll be open to trading out of 36. Takes two to tango to later in the second round to pick up an additional third or fourth round. So I think that would be smart. You got to have as many assets as you can, especially when you're trying to build a new, a, a big time team for the future. Now, the, the, the thing is with the Giants right now, they got rid, when they traded for Leonard Williams, they got rid of a third and a fifth. I think if you get a third and a fourth while trading back, I think that makes up for the Leonard Williams issue. And I still like, I still see the Giants somehow bringing back Leonard Williams on a multi-year deal, which I don't want to happen, but I, I still see it. I mean, Dave Gellman, since he invested in it, he's going to do whatever he can to keep this guy on the team. 
I mean, I'm still not a biggest fan of him. I still feel like he's more of a run stopper than a pass rusher, just from what I've seen. Because a lot of people want to go off of stats. I'm more off of what I see on the camera. That's that's what's really going to help you out. But um, for right now, that should do it. I will have my D-tackle video up. I'm not D tackle. I'm gonna do pass rushers because I don't want the Giants to really go after D tackle. So I'm gonna be going after in pass rushers because the Giants don't need any tackles. You already got Dexter Lawrence, you got BJ Hill, you got Dalvin Tomlins, Andre McIntosh. You also signed Austin Johnson, I think. Austin, yeah. So they can't they can't bring in any more D tackles. I think that's it. Uh, but. In at pass rushers, I will be talking about. I'll be talking about a couple guys that I have in the early rounds, which will be obvious, like a Chase Young and Eater Gross Matos, guys like that. Uh, and then I'll have some guys in the later rounds as well that I like. But I hope you guys stay blessed and uh, easy. Uh, make sure you're being clean, washing your hands, taking care of yourselves. Want to hope, hopefully, get rid of this virus soon. Uh, but that's going to do it all for your Giants fans. I hope you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Go Giants.